Hello everyone, welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to block users from viewing their BitLocker recovery keys in my account portal. Microsoft allows any Azure AD authenticated user assigned to a device to view its BitLocker recovery keys in my account portal to perform the self-service recovery. This is the self-service method to recover the BitLocker recovery key with a normal user's permission. In theory, this is a great way to reduce help desk calls and improve user experience. But it does raise the question of whether this is a security risk or not. In August 2022, Microsoft released a new Azure AD permission that can lock this down for our end users. Now global admins can block self-service BitLocker key access to the registered owner of the device. Default users without the BitLocker read permission will be unable to view or copy their BitLocker recovery key for their own devices. At the time of this video recording, this is still in preview mode. We can use MS Graph and PowerShell script to modify the BitLocker read permission. In this video, we will use MS Graph to modify BitLocker read permission. This is third part of the video on BitLocker drive encryption with Intune. Link to the first two videos are given in the description area. First of all, we need to sign in to Microsoft Graph with a global administrator permission. Open Microsoft Edge web browser and in Google search for Graph Explorer. Click on this link from developer.microsoft.com. Remember, this is the official link from Microsoft. We are on a Microsoft Graph web page. Click on Sign In. Enter global administrator's username, which is mwadmin at msfsuratv2.onmicrosoft.com in our case. Click Next. Enter global admin's password and click on Sign In. We will then come to Microsoft Graph Permissions screen. The administrator must grant Graph Explorer the correct permissions by using a consent process to access data in Microsoft Graph. You will need to accept these permissions and optionally consent on behalf of your organization. But at this moment, I'm just going to accept this requested permission. I'm not going to give consent on behalf of our organization. Let me click on accept. Okay, we can see our tenant name is there, MSF Surat 2.0. And let me click here. Here we can see our global administrator's user account. Now first, let's check the current value of the setting which we want to modify. Select the get method and beta version from the drop down. So let me select beta from here. Enter the Azure AD Graph query in the address bar. So instead of this, we need to enter our own query. Let me paste the URL. So we need to enter this Azure AD Graph query. After entering the query, click on Run Query button. We can see error message about the permission, forbidden 403. Here we have the information, what we need to do. We need to give consent to one of the permissions on the Modify Permissions tab. The Modify Permissions tab lists all the permissions that we might need to run the query in the address bar. Let me click on Modify Permissions tab. Here we can see the list of permissions required to run the query. Click on Consent. Click on Accept. And let's do the same for another permission. So I'm only giving required permissions only. In our case, we need to give consent to two permissions which we have given. After assigning the consent to the required permissions, now we have sufficient permission to run the query. 
click on run query button again and this time we can see ok under response preview now we can see the result of our query in this result we are only interested in default user role permissions here we have one permission we can see one entry allowed to read beat locker keys for own devices is set to true that means user can view their beat locker recovery key in my account portal now let me open new in private tab type url my account dot microsoft dot com and press enter key enter the azure ad username which is user1 at msf surat v2 dot on microsoft dot com click next enter the user's password and click on sign in okay we are in my account portal click on devices click on our device name which is labwin10 hyphen de01 here we can see this user can view his bit locker keys click on view bit locker keys as you can see we have two recovery keys for our system labwin10 hyphen de01 let me click on show recovery key as we can see the bit locker recovery key is accessible by our end user test user 1 now let's block access to bit locker recovery key by modifying the permission in microsoft graph let's sign out from my account portal click on sign out and let's close the web page we are back on microsoft graph explorer web page now from the list select patch method and beta version from the drop down so here instead of get we need to select a patch we need to keep same azure ad graph query in address bar uh, let me copy the code from the result uh, let me click on request body now let me paste the code here we just need only two lines from the result now instead of true we need to specify the value false okay so we have selected patch with beta and our as already graph query is there and under request body we have specified the required code and we have changed the permission from true to false now i'm going to click on run query ensure that you get no content 204 message from the graph explorer after running the query so after seeing this message we can confirm that we have successfully modified the required permission we can confirm whether the beat locker recovery permission on azure active directory is correctly modified or not by running the same ms graph api query again but this time instead of patch we need to select get get beta and keep the same azure ad query in address bar and click on run query button under response preview uh, let's check the result and as we can see the permission has been successfully modified to false this means the permission to view the beat locker recovery key of their own devices for end users are denied let's again access the my account portal using the credential of our user test user 1 let's open new in private window type url my account dot microsoft dot com and press enter key to access the my account portal enter the azure ad username uh, which is user1 at msf surat v2 dot on microsoft dot com click next enter user password and click on sign in after successful sign in to my account portal click on devices 
Click on our device name which is labwin10-de01. And after we change the settings, our end user will no longer able to see the BitLocker recovery keys. Instead, they'll only receive message, device is managed by Intune. We can also use PowerShell script to hide BitLocker recovery key from users. The PowerShell script usage MS Graph API to perform all the actions. I'm not going to cover that in this video. That's all for this video on how to block users from viewing the BitLocker recovery keys in my account portal. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.